Hi, welcome to 6 Minute Math. Sa video na to, hanapin natin ang equation ng circle given the endpoints of the diameter. Let's try this example. Write the equation of a circle with endpoints of a diameter at 7, negative 3 and 1, 7. So para masagutan natin ang ganitong type ng problem, kailangan muna natin siyang i-visualize. So, gagamit tayo ng Cartesian plane and then ipaplot natin yung given points. So, unahin muna natin si 7, negative 3 and then 1, 7. And then, idudugtong natin sila kasi ito ay diameter. So, pwede na tayo mag-construct ng circle. So, ang goal natin dito, hanapin si center at si radius para makuha natin yung equation ng circle. Para makuha natin ngayon ang center, gagamit tayo ng midpoint formula. So sa midpoint formula, this is equal to quantity x sub 1 plus x sub 2 all over 2, comma, y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all over 2. So ito na ngayon yung midpoint formula. So, kunin ngayon natin yung mga points. So, start tayo sa 7. Si 7, gawin nating x sub 1. Si negative 3, gawin nating y sub 1. Next, si 1, gawin natin ngayon ditong x sub 2. And si 7, gawin nating y sub 2. So, by direct substitution, we have quantity 7 plus 1 all over 2, comma, negative 3 plus 7 all over 2. So, pwede natin siyang isimplify as 7 plus 1 is equal to 8 over 2. So, ito na siya. And then, negative 3 plus 7 all over 2 is equal to 4 over 2. So, pwede pa na ulit natin siyang isimplify. So, this is equal to 4 over 2 kasi 8 over 2 is equal to 4 and 4 over 2 is equal to 2. So, nakuha na natin ang center ng circle sa example na to. So, we have 4 comma 2. Ang susunod naman natin nga hanapin ay radius. Para makuha natin ang radius, gagamit tayo ng distance formula. We have d is equal to square root of the quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So, ang points natin dito, possible na kahit anong points or kahit anong end points ng diameter and the center. So, dito sa example natin, Gamitin na lang natin ang 1, 7. So, meron tayo ngayon 1, 7 ang unang point natin. So, si 1 gawin natin x sub 1. Si 7 gawin natin y sub 1. And then, si 4, 2. Ang x sub 2 gawin natin 4. And si 2 gawin natin y sub 2. And then, by direct substitution, We have square root of the quantity 4 minus 1 squared plus 2 minus 7 squared. So, isi-simplify lang natin to. We have 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. And then, 2 minus 7 is equal to negative 5. So, meron tayo ngayong square root of. 3 squared plus the quantity negative 5 squared. So, pwede pa ulit natin siyang masimplify. So, 3 squared is equal to 9. Kasi 3 times 3 is equal to 9. And then, negative 5 squared or negative 5 times negative 5 is equal to positive 25. Next, square root of 9 plus 25 is equal to square root of 
34. So, ibig sabihin, ang radius natin dito sa problem ay square root of 34. So, nakuha na natin si C, which is 4, 2. And yung R is square root of 34. So, isa-substitute na lang natin siya sa standard form of the equation ng circle. So, we get quantity x minus 4 since yung h natin ay 4 and then y minus 2 naging 2 siya since ang k natin ay 2 is equal to square root of 34 squared. So, simplify ngayon natin. We have quantity x minus 4 squared plus quantity y minus 2 squared is equal to 34. Naging 34 siya since na-cancel na natin ang uh, power of 2 and square root. Kaya naging 34 na lang siya. So, ang equation ng circle dito sa example natin ay quantity x minus 4 squared plus quantity y minus 2 squared is equal to 34.